What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Trading Learning 101. Hopefully everyone is having a great weekend. I got a great video here for you guys. We're going to break it down. I got a lot of information to go through in this video of why TIS sold off and my perspective on it. Let's jump right into it. So as you can see here, TIS was at 70 cents a share and this gapped up around this $2, $2.50 area right here. Pretty much Friday just sold off. It came out with news on Wednesday, November 21st, a day before Thanksgiving, that Orchard Paper Products increases its credit line by $5.9 million and it wins bid for a new customer. Right when that news was released, and they released it right when the market closed after hours at 4.17 p.m. And you could see when they released that news, it immediately shot up from $0.70 cents up to over $2.00 and pulled back and then just slowly faded off. And I'm pulling up the daily chart right here. You could see it recently just had a big gap down. Big gap down. It was around 160s, sold off, gapped down, and then just continued selling off down below 75 cents. It had this gap up, real big gap up, all the way up. Literally, this blue line is the 50-day moving average. You can see it went through it just a little bit, and then now it's just selling off hard. And when you have big gap ups like this, after a big downfall like this and a gap down you got to think of the big picture you got to think of all the bag holders who held on to it throughout this whole period here and the crap went the stock went to crap when it finally gets a gap up like this you got to think of all these people who are thinking now is my opportunity to get out on this wash my hands of this get out and you see this big big candle right here it traded a lot of volume that day 16 million in volume from the 75 area up to almost 250 again 16 million in volume that day this had also had a really big volume day this traded 15.2 million in volume but you also have to take into consideration the fundamentals of this too. Current debt of this company is $186 million. They only have 5 million cash. The float is 9.6 million and their shares outstanding is 10.6 million. And going back to the daily again real quick, when you just look at this, it's nothing looks appetizing at all with this chart. You can clearly see its biggest volume days in years all the way back from 2014 was recently and it was down here at the bottom of the chart and it took 16 million in volume for it to make a move like this and it got stopped right here at this 250 level. So going back to this video here, I recorded it during market hours while this was all happening. I wish I would have gotten the market open when this thing first opened up because there was just so much selling on this thing and going off on the tape. It was ridiculous. Every volume bar literally had a million in volume. This is the three minute chart. I think I might say it right here. And then just sold very, very, very hard. This is the three minute chart here. The first three minutes of the market open, this had 1.1 million in volume. The next three minutes, 1.3 million, 1.2 million, then half a million, half a million, a quarter million, a quarter million. Huge, huge, huge selling on the tape here. Huge selling on the tape. And you could see it kept getting very toppy on this. It topped out here at 2, here at 2, and it topped here at 250. And when this market opened, you got a quick pop up to this 250 level. 
and it quickly ripped right back down. And from 250, this could just continued selling off all the way down to a dollar 65. And from what I heard, this was a very, very, very easy stock for shorts to borrow. So you gotta, you best believe all the shorts that are out there, they're shorting the heck out of this stock. And the bag holders are all trying to get out. Everybody that bought pre-markets trying to get out. And you also got to tell yourself, when something's gapped up this big, is the price already priced in with the news? This did come out with news, and it had this huge gap up. You got to look at the big picture. The price is already priced in with the news. It's clearly pretty much doing a triple top right here. I would call this pretty much the rainbow effect. The rainbow effect is where it makes a high, and it inches another high, and then it just slowly starts to curve downward. And then that's when it starts getting momentum and falling down. When I look at this on the daily chart or the what it did for the day, this is what it did for the day right here. It had this big sell-off right here all the way down to $1.60. Didn't have any bounce at all. It was selling so hard it couldn't even bounce. It didn't get a bounce till around... 10 15 almost an hour into the market and the bounce really wasn't great on it from a dollar 63 to a dollar 93 and then it sold right back down and made a new low for the day at a dollar 50 but it was able to move back up to a dollar 82 i don't know if this is gonna do anything going into monday because this happened on friday and this friday was a half day in the market the market closed at 1 o'clock p.m. the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. But I was able to pull up a video here to, sh to show you guys how much selling was on this stock. And I got this video clip uh, from courtesy of Hammer Trader here. Now, I'll leave a link to his description of this video. He is a great trader and he makes f fantastic videos. I highly recommend subscribing to his page. He knows what he's talking about and he puts out multiple videos of breaking these stocks down. But I want to show you guys, keep an eye when I hit play here on the bid. You'll see 213 pop up right there and then you'll see another huge order. See how fast that just got destroyed? That's how fast this was just selling this morning. Very, very, very fast. Watch it right here on the bid. 181 shares or 18,000 shares popped up on that bid and it just ran through it like it was nothing. One more time. There's the 213. There it goes. Boom. A lot, a lot of selling on this. It was just ridiculous how much selling was on this. It definitely had my attention during the market hours. And then look at that big washout it had right there. From the 240 level down to 225. And after, look at that, all the way down to 212. Literally from 240 all the way down to two dollars like that 40 cents boom ripped down And look at how fast this level two is moving It was just selling so so hard and it's important to analyze what's happening on the level two right here and the, the sales This didn't even get a bounce it didn't and it, if it did move up it moved up a couple cents and then it just ripped right back down but th that's the importance of being here every day and just observing the markets and observing the level two and the tape to get a feel of these stocks and you can literally get an idea of what's gonna happen just by analyzing what the tapes doing and the level two is doing as much as the level two is manipulated, you could still get a feel of what's going on.
and this is on the American Stock Exchange. I'm not too much of a fan of playing stocks on the American Stock, stock Exchange. I like to try to stick to the NASDAQ. This is what happened on TIS going from 67 cents to a high of 250. And I know a lot of newbie traders out there waking up and seeing it up like this. And just what you think about is all the money you could have made on this move up. And you think it's just going to keep breaking out to new highs. And you just got simply got to look at the reality of this. It's up way too much. The stock was up over 400% before the market opened. You know, the price is already priced in with the news. People are going to want to take their profits. The bag holders are going to want to get out on this. Shorts are going to attack it if shares are easy, easy to borrow. You just got to connect everything and start putting everything together. And the only way to do that is just to practice and practice and practice. That's my take on TIS, guys. Until next time, everyone, have that patience, have that discipline, and study, study, study. All right, everyone. Later.